Hey guys, this is Dennis here, and today we're going to do assignment 4-1 in the JS Tutorial Basic Workbook for ArcGIS 10.1. I'll be using ArcGIS 10.4, but I've already run through this and everything works fine. If you have any problems with yours or something looks different, just let me know. We'll try to figure it out. And this tutorial is about investigating educational attainment. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to set up everything so it wants us to create a MXD. So we're gonna start off by going to our Raspberry Press folder and you're probably gonna go into your GIST folder. I'm gonna go in my GIST 10-1 this is my 10.1 uh, data and you can really save it wherever you want. And set 4 here just call this 4-1 Okay, and the second thing it wants us to do is to store relative path names to data sources. Alright, and then it wants us to set the projection from the beginning. So we're going to go to properties, coordinate system, project the coordinate system, state plane, and 83 US feet, okay. I believe it's Penn South. Yeah. Okay. Now the second thing it wants us to do after all that, or at least I guess the first thing is to create a GDB. So I'm gonna go to my 10-1 folder, put it in my assignments, chapter four. New file J file to database, call it four one. Now it wants us to import some data into the GDB. So import, the first is a feature class. We're going to input features. We're going to our Esri Press folder, GIST1, data, data files, and I believe it's this. Yep. Okay. I'll put feature class. We'll call it track for census track. Okay. Oops. Okay. Now it wants us to also import a table. So feature table single. And it's going to be this one. We're going to use high attainment. We're going to call this educational attainment. Okay. All right. So that's done. So both here. We can now work on this. And first thing we're going to do is it wants us to clean up the attribute table and delete unnecessary things. So I'm going to delete pretty much everything. Delete this. No. Hmm, okay. All right, we're going to keep the geo ID here, and the rest of the stuff we'll just keep. So the first thing we're going to do is it wants us to join this table into this layer or uh, shape field, blah, blah, blah. And the first thing we're going to notice is that. When we go to fields, the geo ID 10 here, data type is text. And it wants us to join by that and this, the geo ID 2. And this data type is a double. So if we attempt to join it, it's not going to show up. So to fix this, we go to 
for census track. I'm going to add a new field. It's going to be called geo id num, and it's going to be a double. Now to populate this, we go to field calculator, and we're going to say this is equal to this geo id 10. Okay. All right. Now we also have to do two more fields. So add a field. It's going to be called P college F for it's going to be the float type. We're going to create a second one. P college M also float. Okay, and it floats because it can have decimal places, which is what we want. And I think that's it for here. So now we're going to join this. So join. We're going to pick here. It should then do this. We can verify it or validate it. Everything here, 402 or 402. Okay, so we've joined it now. Let's check to see if we have those fields. These are empty because we haven't done anything with it yet. And we have it all here. Now it wants us to create these two fields that have the percentage of college associates degree above their specific field, so male or female. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna select by attributes. We're gonna do female first. We're gonna say it's greater than zero. This is because when we do the equation, you don't want to divide by zero. So we apply. Okay, and then we'll go here. And field calculator. Mm -hmm. And we want to make this associates plus bachelors plus masters plus professionals plus doctors. So I'll put parentheses around those. I'm not sure if you necessarily need the parentheses, but it's probably helpful. And we're going to divide it by the entire population of females. Put parentheses around those. Then we're going to times it by 100 because we want it in a percentage. So let's see here. Okay, this looks correct. So by ascending, these are all the zero. Okay. So this looks like it's correct. The next thing we're going to do is select by attributes and we're going to clear this. And we're going to do it for male. So Greater than zero. Okay. You can check here. All right. Now we do the same thing, same equation. So it's associates plus bachelors plus masters, etc. Parentheses divided over this. And then we're going to times it by 100 for the percentage. Okay, so now we have both these fields. Alright, I'm going to clear the selection. And we're going to go to the track here. And we're going to Symbology, quantiles. We're gonna pick a we'll pick female for this one in our newly created field. Okay. So this is the field we just created here with the darker numbers being the higher percentage. And now it wants us to copy. I 
Hmm. All right, we'll just do it this way. Insert data for name. Copy, paste. Okay, and this is distorted because I assume it doesn't have the same projection. And it doesn't. So we'll just go to projected. Say plane. US feet. It's going to be the same thing we clicked earlier. And usually you can just copy and paste it, but transform, sure, okay, and now we have this. We're going to switch this to mail, and we're going to name this. This one's female, and this one's male. Okay, go to our layout view. We should have two here. We do. Let's make it a little bigger. And I'm not gonna go through making this nice, let you guys do that, but as you can see. There are some differences between the two and um, you try to, sometimes people have trouble figuring out which one they're working on, right? So if you click this, you'll see it's highlighted here, bold, this is male, this is female, and these are the two different maps I want you to make. I also want you to make a scatter plot. So we're going to go to graphs, create graph, I want scatter plot, the y field will be female, x will be male, and okay, and you can mess around with this to make it more aesthetically pleasing. Okay, copy as a graphic, paste the picture. Mm -hmm. This is the general outline of it. And to draw, of course, you would just go and oof. align, right? And you would just put that across whichever. But you can decide how you want to do that. So let me take a look in the book real quick to see if there's anything else here before I consider myself done. Hmm. Okay, everything here looks like it's fine. Um, obviously, it's not aesthetically pleasing, but I'll let you guys decide how you want to do that. Or, and of course, if you want to add a legend, just up here's legend with our scale bar text. And um, yeah, I think that's it for now. I will be uploading more videos more frequently. Um, I've been pretty busy this year, so yeah, uh, thanks for watching, and if you have any questions directly related to the video, just let me know. And that is a screeching cat outside, so it's kind of scary, so that's a good time to end the video. But yeah, any questions, let me know.